let's talk about statistics. Statistics is about counting. It could be about counting, for example, people in a certain location. You may want to find out how many people in a certain community, uh, how many people have children who go to school, how many of the children do not go to school. That is what statistics is all about. It's about counting. Now, there is a little more to the counting we are talking about, and that is what we want to look at. We are going to learn the different forms in which data can be presented. Because if we are going to do counting, the numbers we get, we may choose to represent them in a certain way. And so we're going to look at the different ways in which we can represent the numbers we get from counting in statistics. Now, the different forms of data presentations include pictographs, pie charts, bar graphs, line graphs, and there is also what is known as frequency tables. After looking at the different forms of data presentations, we're going to look at what is known as measures of central tendency. And we're going to look at three measures of central tendency. That is the mean, the mod, and the median. Let us get started with pictographs. Now, before we look at pictographs, we just want to... Um, explain once again what statistics is all about and this word statistics how can we define it how can we explain it in a little more detail statistics is a branch of mathematics or we can say it's a it's part of mathematics because it involves counting adding so it is a branch of mathematics and it is concerned about collecting data organizing data, presenting data, analyzing it to try to understand um, what does this data mean, why does it look the way it looks. And also, you know, when we analyze something, we want to interpret it, okay? An interpretation could be, oh, in this community, about 20% of children do not go to school. Maybe, you know, that could be the analysis you've done and you may go further to interpret why it is like that. Uh, as you were counting, you, you may, you could have noticed uh, that uh, in homes where children don't go to school, parents do not have any work or they are not in employment, they are looking for jobs. So you, you can interpret the data to say, oh, okay, so what this means is when parents are not able to go for work, they are not able to take their children to school. So from the counting you do, you can find out uh, what information the data or the counting is giving you. And based on that information, certain people who have um, powers to make certain decisions or oh, can realize that, oh, we need to do something about this. Maybe let us work on, you know, creating employment for the people so that people are able to work. And when people are able to work, when parents are able to work, then a lot of children in communities will be able to go to school. So now, going back to how we present data in statistics, uh, like I earlier said, you can present the data in form of a pictograph, in form of a pie chart, bar graph, line graph, and frequency table. So we're going to look at each of these under separate subtopics, and for now, uh, we want to start with pictograph. Now, what is a pictograph? A pictograph uses pictures to represent statistical information. Now, a pictograph should have a key that explains the meaning of each picture. 
Now look at this beautiful pictograph we have here. The pictograph has a title, it says favorite apple flavors. And we have three kinds of apples, green apples, red apples, yellow apples. Now when you look at green apples, we can count the number of pictures. They are one, two, three, four. However, please take note that this does not mean four apples the way you've counted. For you to know what is the actual number of what these green apples are, or even what the pictures mean, uh, you need to read the key. So a pictograph should always have a key that explains the meaning of each picture. And the key we read here says each picture represents three bags of a fruit. What that means is this one green apple actually represents three bags of a fruit. So if I were to ask you, how many bags will these two, uh, do these two green apples represent? All you do is three plus three. So that means these two green apples represent three plus three bags, which is six bags. Is that confusing? Is that simple to understand? I believe you, you find it simple. Well, let me test you. Let me ask you some questions. Here is a pictograph. The key says each picture represents three bags of the fruit. It's the same pictograph we've been looking at. But now I want to ask you a question. The first question, how many bags of green apples are there? Let's see. What is your answer? How many bags of green apples? Okay, here it is. First you count. How many green apples are there? One, two, three, four. Four green apples and each picture represents uh, three bags according to the key. So that means three plus three plus three plus three. So that is the same as three times four, which is 12 bags. Did you get it correct? Okay. So let us look at the second question. So which fruit had the lowest number of bags? So just by a simple eye inspection here, I can see that yellow apples are very few. Green apples are represented by how many pictures? One, two, three, four. These are the red apples. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow apples, one, two, three. So yellow apples have the lowest number. Okay, so let's see. Yes, we're right. Yellow apples. But now the last question. State the number of bags for the fruit with uh, the lowest number of bags. Now, we have established that uh, yellow apples have the lowest number of bags. Okay, agreed? Yes. And now each picture, meaning each yellow apple here, represents three bags. So what's the total number? It's three plus three plus three. In short, three times three. What is the answer? Nine bags. Okay. So here's an exercise I want you to do. For the pictogram shown below, state how many bags of yellow apples were collected. Okay. I want you to be careful here because this picture or pictograph, although it looks similar to the previous one, it's not really the same. Let's see if you get it correct. Please pause the video and see if you can work it out and see if you can get the correct answer. Mm -hmm. All right, the answer is 50 bugs. If you got it correct, you are a genius. Okay, let's see what is the explanation for this. Um, the key, you, you need to look at the key. Do not uh, write anything whenever you are given a question on pictographs. Don't rush to just quickly calculate things. Always read and understand the key for a pictograph. And in the picture we saw the key stated that each picture represents 20 bags. Hmm. So this means that 
half a picture if you see a picture is half just know that it's a half a, uh, uh, the value of a full picture so if each picture represents 20 bags it means if you see a picture which is a half it means 20 divided by 2 or half times 20 which is 10 bags in other words the two pictures of yellow apples will represent 20 times 2 which is 40 bags and the half yellow apple represents what what is a half of 20 it's 10 so that means the total number of bags is 40 plus 10 bags which equals 50 bags okay